stereotype about the Golden Girls is that we are academically challenged. Here is the, tw the class of 2019 valedictorian Nicole Noto opposing that opinion. They don't really know any of the girls personally, and like, unless you have one of the girls in your classes, then you can't really say they are dumb. Like, it doesn't make sense how they can have that like preconceived notion of people. Um, I find school kind of just repetitive, and if you get the process, it's kind of easy for me. So the, I have a 5.0 weighted. Seven, eight, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go. One, two. A lot of people think that the Golden Girls go through a lot of drama on the team. In reality, we don't. We have little to no drama every The team is all just like sisters, and here's Zoelle going into more depth about that. My favorite part about being on the Golden Girls is having uh, lots of spirit with the team, um, cheering on my school, and um, all the football games. I think the team is like a family for multiple reasons, um, mostly because we spend so much time with each other outside of Palm. Sometimes there's drama on the team, but it usually simmers down pretty fast. It's usually just um, about stress and getting dances done. There are many more stereotypes that people believe about the Kickapoo Palms High School. One of them is that they believe the Golden Girls are promiscuous. Here's Aspen explaining her opinions and thoughts about this false statement. Probably in the football games because we just have like, they're so hyped and we have so much fun together. Getting to perform is really fun. The worst part is probably the practices because we all have to be serious and focus and we're all kind of like, crazy so it's just kind of hard. Um, the day I try as my emotions were I was really anxious and nervous but I was really excited and hoping that I would make the team. Yeah I love them they're so cute.